Now I think there's gonna be a gap after this white car, so I'm ready for it, but boom, look at that guy comes out crazy. So good thing I didn't guess there, because that was pretty dangerous. Hello everybody, it's Ben with Driver's Ed Direct. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to today's video, inspired by you, the viewers, who have asked us a lot of questions about left turns, especially left turns out on major streets. When should I turn? Where do I turn from? What do I do if the light turns yellow? A lot of these great questions about uh, left turns in general, especially for those who have anxiety. So today we're really just gonna get out there gorilla style, do a bunch of left turns, 30, 40 minutes, hopefully get about 30 turns in there so you can really see left turns in action. This isn't really like some of our other videos where it's really step-by-step -step beginner type things. We do have a turn video with instructor Micah, instructor Alejandra that go over that. It's a great video. Check it out in the link above or, or down below. But today's video, we just really want to get out there and get our feet wet or, or get our wheels wet, I guess, and, and really learn by doing examples. So I'll try to give you as many left turns examples as you can get. So you can hopefully, you know, ease your anxiety a little bit, see what to do in certain situations, and then get out there and try it yourselves. All right, y'all, let's uh, get on with the left turns. Thanks for watching. If you got a second, please like, subscribe, do all that great stuff. We love you guys, and uh, let's do it. All right, here I am at a protected left turn, waiting my turn. I'm first in line. As soon as this light turns green, assuming it turns to a green arrow, I'm still gonna do my traffic checks. Still look for pedestrians, because you never know. But left, right, left, I should have the right of way. Everyone should be waiting for me to go, and they are. Aim for the lane closest to the middle, and that's a protected left turn. That's about as easy as it can get. When you have a green arrow or a protected left turn, the entire universe is waiting for you to go. Nice. Sometimes it's tempting when you're at a busy street like this, uh, to daydream or to mess with the radio. You kind of lose focus of what's going on, but you can't do that. You gotta be alert. You always gotta be watching what's changing. Because while you're sitting here, a lot could change. You know, right now, nothing in my blind spot, right? But in 30 seconds, there could be, you know, a whole group of kids or a family or something about to cross the street there. So we're just waiting, trying to be patient, trying to keep focused with everything going on around us. I'm continually kind of trying to see if I can sense when the light's going to change. Sometimes you can see the crosswalk signs blinking. Um, here though, it's not. It's solid red, so it's not helping me. But now I see it's going yellow. That gives me a hint. It's probably going to be my turn. Green light, left, right, left. It's clear. I'm going into the leftmost lane. Keeping my eye on that guy across from me. And ease into this lane. Nice and smooth. Accelerate up to speed of traffic. Nice. That's a protected left turn. Pretty smooth. Perfect, a nice major intersection. We're slowing down 200 feet. I want to go to that turn lane, but it looks like there's a car turning into that driveway. So I'm going to be patient. Check my blind spot. Good, he just moved out of the way. And if I had to, I would have to make a decision whether to wait behind him or go around him there. And as I come here and wait my turn, I can see up ahead there's a red arrow, which means it's probably going to eventually turn into a green arrow, which means this is a protected left turn. Uh, if that's the case, we're still keeping our eyes on pedestrians, oncoming traffic, but they should all be stopped. If it's a protected turn, everybody should be yielding to us. We should be able to more or less just go, but you still double check because you never know. Once in a while, a pedestrian or another motorist will just do something a little bit silly and go when it's not their turn. And we don't want to get into a collision, so we will let them do their thing and go when it's safe. Never insist on your right away, guys, gals, everyone. You know, if it's not worth it, just because it's your right away, if it's gonna create a collision, then don't do it. Green arrow, I'm still gonna look left, right, left, but everyone looks like they're obeying the rules. I'm gonna go into the leftmost lane here if I can without clipping the middle line, and I did. Beautiful, great job. All right, that was nice. Major intersection, a lot of traffic, but that protected, left turn arrow really makes it easy to do uh, just stops everybody and lets you do your thing now let's make this left turn let's let's do it signal mirror over the shoulder nice smooth fade into the turn pocket here 
couple cars ahead of me. If they don't turn soon, I probably won't make this light. Uh, however, if they get a gap in traffic, then maybe I'll have an opportunity to go. So you're just ready for anything. Maybe I'll go, maybe I won't. It'll really play out here in the next five seconds as the light's about to turn yellow. And I'm guessing he or she's gonna go, they're gonna go. Okay, three cars went. And maybe those three cars, to be honest, shouldn't have gone. Maybe just the first two should have gone. However, um, I make my own decisions, right? You make your own decisions. So I for sure wasn't gonna go for that one. You should never, you should never accelerate to a yellow light. If a light is yellow and you have to accelerate to make the intersection, that's a great sign that you shouldn't do it. Um, when possible, if the light is going yellow or red, you should stop without entering the intersection. Sometimes it's a business decision though. If a light's turning yellow and there's a car right behind you tailgating you, if you have to brake abruptly, you might get rear-ended. So sometimes you have to see which is the kind of lesser of the two evils here. Now, as I wait here, and you can see this car next to me went too far into the crosswalk. You always wanna make sure while you're waiting, you're behind the crosswalk. Cause if someone comes here now, wants to cross the street, they're gonna be blocked by this car here. Also by that car there, but they might be making a red on a red, which that's legal. All right, I'm about to get a green light might be it's actually protected so i'm looking left right left and looks good i'm going for it nice so that was a nice treat or surprise or however you want to think about it i got the left arrow and allowed me to have the right away protected left turn easy peasy nice job y'all so let's make a left turn now up here we have something we haven't seen before this is a double left turn lane there are two lanes that turn to the left i looked mirror over the shoulder you choose whichever one you want the important thing is whichever one you begin in make sure you commit to that one and stay in it so we still have the green arrow it's going yellow i'm not going to make it i would have to accelerate very aggressively to make that and it would have ended up in me running the red light so that's a no-go but cool next time uh next time around i'm gonna have the green arrow here now you see the sign up ahead there it's a little bit dilapidated but uh it's letting you know that there are two arrows turning to the left and you can see there's a dotted line in between the two arrows, or excuse me, in between the two lanes ahead. I just have to stay on the right side of that line. I got to stay in my lane. To me, this is the easier lane to do because it's a wider turn. So you don't have to worry about making a sharp turn and aiming between on oncoming traffic. But either lane, truthfully, is very fine, whichever one you're comfortable doing, if not both. So I'm just waiting here. So eventually, this will turn green. This is a really busy intersection, so it's going to take a while. And you're not falling asleep, you're keeping your eyes out, you're looking for pedestrians, people that might be an obstacle once you get the green light. Um, every once in a while you'll hear emergency vehicles, especially when you're in the heart of the city like this. So you just you know, want to keep your head on a swivel, checking things out, checking your mirrors, just always around, your, always around of your surroundings, always aware of your surroundings that is. I'm not the, uh, not the most eloquent person in the, in the universe, for sure but we're all learning together you're learning to drive i'm learning to speak so it's a win-win um yeah we're being patient check in trying to get clues on when the light might change checking the crosswalks the don't walks and again just being really patient but also i don't want to be inattentive because i'm first in line when that light turns green if i stay here left right left i'll be slowing everyone down so i just stay on my side of the lane take it nice and easy and that person stayed in their lane, so they did a great job as well. I got a break a little bit for that car. Nice, so that's a double left turn lane. Just remember, whichever lane you start in, finish in that lane, but otherwise, it's pretty simple. As long as everyone stays in their lane, there's no problems whatsoever. Now I can already see up ahead, this looks like it's a protected left turn with two left turn lanes, so a multiple left turn lane. Put on my left signal, look over my shoulder, check the blind spot after I check my mirrors. And I ease into this lane. Now I'm in the second most lane from the middle, which is fine. You can choose whichever lane you want. It just means that now when I make my turn, I need to finish in that same second most lane. Um, I more or less follow the car in front of me, but at the same time, you don't put all your faith in the car in front of you. You also have to do your own checking. So, you know, I'll use them as a guide, but I will also make my own decisions here. We're just being patient as we wait here might be a while again this is a major intersection in los angeles county during rush hour 
All right, the light just turned green. It's a protected turn. I'm still gonna check left, right, left. Looks clear, the whole world's stopping for us. Aim for that second lane here. And there you go. That is a protected left turn. I'm gonna put my signal on here. It's a little too early to move over. I don't wanna go over that double yellow line up there if I don't have to. So I'll just be patient. I'm checking my mirrors. I see what's going on behind me. Before I move into that left turn lane, I'll check the blind spot. I'm gonna look over my left shoulder, ease over there. Now there's a couple cars up ahead of me, so we may or may not make it, but I want you to notice this is a solid green light right now. But if you count, there are five light bulbs or traffic bulbs on that traffic signal. So sometimes that's just a solid green light. Sometimes it'll present itself with a green arrow. Now I'm not gonna make it because I'm not in the intersection yet. Those two cars have to go because they are already in the intersection. They were committed to the turn. So they did the perfect right maneuver. They waited to make sure that all oncoming traffic had cleared, there was no pedestrians. And then as soon as they could, they cleared the intersection. I wasn't in the intersection, so I have to wait my turn here. So I'm being patient, back behind the crosswalk, paying attention to the situation. Again, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a solid green light up here or the green arrow. If it's the green arrow, I'm gonna look left, right, left and go for it. If it's the green light, I'm gonna look left, right, left, but just, just inch out into the intersection. Check for pedestrians, anticipating the green light up here. And I'm looking at that crosswalk there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's counting down eight seconds, seven seconds, six seconds. So about five seconds here, we should get a green light. Keeping an eye on everything here. Looking beautiful. And cars clearing the intersection. And there it is, no green arrow. So here, I don't have the right of way. I'm just gonna inch out, look left, right, left. Wait my turn. I don't know if you can see where I'm waiting here, but about a third, fourth of the way, third of the way to the intersection, my mirror has passed the uh, curb over there. And I'm just waiting for a safe gap. There's a lot of traffic, so it might not come for a while. And then while I wait, every once in a while, I'll check over my shoulder, look for pedestrians or anything in my blind spot. Also keeping an eye on the traffic light. It could turn yellow any second. Probably not going to, because I don't know if you can see, but the walk signs, okay, now I just turn from the walk sign to the don't walk sign. So it looks like about 12, 11, 10 seconds here. Still waiting for a gap. I think I see a gap and it is a safe gap for me to go, check my blind spot and go for it. Nice, so we had to be patient, but eventually there was a nice little gap in traffic there where everyone was slowing down and was far enough away. I could go for it without impeding any of the oncoming traffic. Let's make a left turn up here. Put on our left signal, check our mirrors, look over our shoulder, glide into that turn lane here. This is gonna be an easy one. No traffic here, no pedestrians. Just double check, but it's open, so let's go for it. And only one lane to land in here, so let's stick it with confidence. Nice, and that was a very simple left turn with the sun going down. Good job, everybody. Let's make another left turn here. And slowing down, look over my shoulder, looks good. And I could have gone there, but it would have been pretty risky. It might have made that car coming towards me slow down. So I'm just going to wait because I don't want to impede anybody's progress. It's rude. It's not safe. And it is definitely an auto fail on your drive test. All right, here's a nice, not too bad left turn here. Signal mirror over the shoulder. Now I could rush it and go for it, but that wouldn't be safe. Because if I did that, that car coming towards me probably would have to slow down. And if you impede someone's progress, that's an automatic fail, it's not safe. In any way, a gap came, I was a little patient. A little dip there, so I took it gently, gingerly into that turn. But that was a nice turn without too much drama. So I'm already kind of going at a snail's pace here, but I'm gonna start slowing down 200 feet here. Put my signal on about 100 feet. Check my mirrors, look over my shoulder, into the turn lane here. And that's what the smog is, right? Signal, mirror, over the shoulder, go. That, that helps us remember what we need to do before we change into any lane. Now I'm kind of waiting here. I'm gonna be second in line here, so we'll see what this car in front of us does. I'm gonna check the intersection, check the pedestrians, no oncoming traffic. I'm gonna go for it. 
and we're gonna try to hit the lane here closest to the middle beautiful wow great job guys that was that was pretty nice let's make a left turn at the light here left signal mirrors over my shoulder into the left turn lane turn on the AC so you can hear me and we got a gap here checking for pedestrians it's wide open let's take it sometimes it just is easy like that finishing the lane closest to the middle nice that was actually pretty smooth pretty easy sometimes the C's part and the left turn is as easy as can be you still got to remember to check for pedestrians um, but when it's open then go for it with confidence and take the turn great job everybody all right, we got a red light up ahead. Let's get ready to make a left turn. I'm slowing down 200 feet, signal on at 100 feet, checking my mirrors, looking over my left shoulder, nothing in my blind spot there. Smoothly into the left turn lane. Looking up ahead, I see that there are three bulbs in the traffic light, so probably an unprotected left turn it is. And I've got a couple cars in front of me. I might not make this left turn. We won't know until the uh, turn plays itself out. In the meantime, I'm already making some decisions though. I'm noticing there's no pedestrians at the corners. I can check my blind spot every once in a while to see if a bicycle or maybe another pedestrian comes up. Now I see the don't walk hand is flashing, so that means the light might go yellow. I'm gonna hang back here and see what this gentleman does. Now as he commits to his turn, I'm coming up. I see a gap. I'm gonna go for the leftmost lane as the light turns yellow. Clear the intersection safely. Good, that was a great example of a pretty challenging left turn. It's kind of rush hour here in Los Angeles County. There were a lot of cars at the intersection, had to wait my turn. I didn't commit to the intersection right away because I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to get in it before it turned red. But once the car in front of me started going, I was able to enter the intersection. And when the lights started going yellow, then I'm obligated, when it's safe, to clear the intersection. All right, we got another traffic light up here, so why don't we try to make another left turn? Again, noticing the three bulbs, it's probably going to be a unprotected left turn. I'm slowing down 200 feet, signal 100 feet, mirrors, shoulder, that's my spot to the left. Perfect. And a nice smooth stop. Checking out the traffic situation, I'm first in line this time. And I'm noticing right now no pedestrians to watch for in the crosswalk. Now I see the walk sign lit up. That means it's probably going to turn green shortly. Left, right, left. Safety enter the intersection. But a lot of traffic ahead of me. So I'll be patient. Just kind of keep my eye on things. Again, while I'm waiting here for the um, traffic to clear, a pedestrian or a bicycle or a scooter could come up. So I still have to be aware of that crosswalk I see the don't walk hand flashing but I also see a gap I'm gonna go ahead and make my turn confidently and turn into the lane closest to the middle that's another great left turn uh, during rush hour traffic great job everyone so signal to the left mirrors over the shoulder and it's gonna turn red on us so we'll just wait here patiently now again as we're waiting here keeping our eye on traffic coming towards us looking for pedestrians checking cross traffic and being patient I see that their lights going yellow so we'll probably get a green so as soon as it turns green I look left right left inch out in the intersection looking for a gap keeping an eye on traffic light traffic and pedestrians I see my gap coming double check and one two three aim for my target lane closest to the middle of the road and that is a uh, successful left turn we could make a left turn at this light it's a little bit difficult let's do it left turn signal check my mirrors over my shoulder ease into the turn lane there at the opening and now i'm going to be second in line here i'm going to stop my car when i can uh, still see the back tires of the car in front of me green light checking the intersections i'm aware that there's pedestrians to the right there but I'm turning left so I'm mostly concerned with the left here now he's gonna go and I'm gonna inch up here and looks clear over there I'm waiting for this gentleman to turn and there we go 
you know, meter left shoulder, over the shoulder, into the turn pocket. So hopefully by now you're getting pretty bored of the smog, the signal mirror over the shoulder go. But that's a good thing. When you're getting bored of it, that means it's becoming second nature. You're not even really thinking about it. You just start doing it. It's muscle memory, repetition. So great job if that's you. And if not, if you're still learning, great. Keep uh, watching videos, get out there, practice. Again, always start simple, set yourself up for success. Master left turns in residential. And once you're feeling good about that, come out into the busy streets but do simple left turns, do protected left turns, do left turns at intersections that aren't crazy, where there's not a lot of traffic, and then build yourself up to these, you know, busier intersections, and time of day, set yourself up for success. You know, start when there's no traffic, go early in the morning, um, you know, avoid the rush hour, avoid situations that you're not comfortable in. All right, so let's pay attention to this turn here. We got a uh, car in front of us that will definitely go on this turn. Now we enter the intersection. Now I have to make my own decision, check my blind spot, no traffic, and commit to it. Make sure I enter that lane closest to the middle there. Again, legally, I could have entered into this, this lane or the lane next to me. As long as they're open and clear, you can do that. But I always recommend, we always recommend a driver's indirect. You wanna end in this lane. It's the safest lane to end in. All right, let's make a left turn at the light here. Left signal on, check my mirrors, look over my shoulder, fade into the turn lane. Now I've got a bunch of cars coming towards me. So I'm gonna gently ease into the intersection about a fourth of the way. I've got my mirror just past that curb here and checking the corners for pedestrians and just waiting for a gap in the traffic. Again, it's really busy, so I'm just gonna be patient and 100% make sure I can go before I commit to my turn. I also see a pedestrian coming you know, down the block a ways, and it looks safe. Aim for the leftmost lane. And there you go, that's a left turn, unprotected, at a pretty major intersection here in Los Angeles County. Slowing down at about 200 feet or about half a block, signal on at 100 feet or about a third of a block, checking my mirrors, looking over my shoulder. So that's the smog, right? Signal, mirror, over the shoulder, go. And now I am not the first car in line, so it's a little bit different. So I'm still checking for pedestrians. I'm looking left, right, left. And this car has to clear first. So I'm actually gonna hang back out of the intersection. I'm gonna let this car make their turn before I commit to the intersection. I don't wanna be hanging out there and then the light turns red and I can't go. But as they go, now I go and there's a gap. So I'm just gonna go for it. Check my blind spot one more time. Nice, perfect. Good, that's a little variation, right? There's a car in front of us, they went. I didn't assume that it was safe for me to go. I had to check with my own eyes that the gap was there and sure enough it was and then I took it. And again, whenever you make your left turn, you have to be 100% certain that it's safe to go. And then when you decide it is safe to go, you have to go with confidence. You don't wanna hesitate. You don't wanna hang out in that intersection any longer than you have to. Everyone who's learning to drive, no matter what age you are, doing it together you out there in YouTube land and me here the dorky guy looking over his shoulder getting into that turn lane and let's make a left here again we're first in line and there is a lot of traffic ahead of us don't see any pedestrians but I will continue to check that throughout see that their lights going yellow this lights are gonna go green but I'm gonna let everyone clear the intersection and look left, right, left. And I'm inching out in the intersection. Again, about a quarter way, third way, letting my mirror get past that curb there. And I have to kind of lean a little bit to see around this truck, because that truck is blocking my vision. Now that they leave, it's a little easier because the car is lower profile. Now I think I see a gap coming. And yeah, it's a safe gap. If I go ahead with confidence, I can clear that without making that car slow down. And I finished in the lane closest to the middle of the road. Perfect. That was a great left turn that we just did together. With a little bit of traffic, no pedestrians. Pretty challenging, but definitely doable. You guys can do that one. Easy peasy if you just take your time and wait for that safe gap. Left signal, mirrors over my shoulder, ease into the turn lane there. And it's a red light, so I'm gonna come to a nice smooth stop. 
Now this looks like it's gonna be an unprotected left turn. First thing I'm gonna do while I'm waiting here is kinda check the surroundings, see if there's any pedestrians. Light turns green, still look left, right, left. Inch out in that intersection, not quite a third of the way, fourth of the way, third of the way. I let my mirror get past the curb there. Now I'm waiting and while I patiently wait, I'm keeping my eyes, my eyes on the big three things, oncoming traffic, pedestrians, and lights, right? I don't wanna lose sight of the light if I get so caught up with the oncoming traffic, I'll forget to go when the light goes from green to yellow to red. So I'm watching everything here, being patient, see a gap coming, and then I'm gonna take it nice and confident, aim for the lane closest to the middle of the road, and that is an unprotected left turn. Nice, good job, y'all. All right, light is green. I'm probably on my signal about 100 feet. Check my mirrors, look over my blind spot, my shoulder into the turn lane. Now it's green, so I can actually ease right into the intersection and wait for my gap. Same thing, a quarter of the way, third of the way in there, letting my mirror get past the curb there. Checking for pedestrians, waiting for that safe gap. And no guessing, I gotta be 100% safe here before I make this turn. Now I think there's gonna be a gap after this white car, so I'm ready for it, but boom, look at that guy comes out crazy. So good thing I didn't guess there, because that was pretty dangerous. That was an excellent example of how you can never assume that it's gonna be safe to go, because that car came out of the turn lane across from us really fast and haphazardly. All right, great job, guys. You guys are doing awesome out there. Okay, so here we are, first in line at a red light, waiting to make a left turn. I'm kind of keeping my eye on the intersection, checking for pedestrians. I see I have a pedestrian here waiting, probably gonna cross. So I'm waiting for the light to turn green, just being aware of the situation the entire time. Now I see that she's on her phone, so she might not be ready to walk. Now when the light turns green here in about a second, I'm gonna look left, right, left, inch out into the intersection. I have a gap in traffic, she's not walking. I'm gonna go with confidence. Aim for the left side of that lane, and here we go. So I'm starting to slow down. I see the lights going from yellow to red up here. I got my left signal on, check my mirror, left mirror, left shoulder, keeping my eye on this car here, making a U-turn at the wrong place in the road. And we come up, we got some pedestrians here, so definitely go up a little gently so they don't get freaked out. All right, I'm at the intersection. I already identified that there is a pedestrian waiting to cross the street. So now I've got for sure three things to keep an eye on. Oncoming traffic, traffic lights, pedestrian. When the light turns green, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my traffic checks before I even inch out in the intersection. While I'm waiting here, I don't know if you can see it, but the crosswalk for the cross traffic just started blinking. So I kind of know it's gonna be about nine, eight, seven, six, five, before, before the light turns uh, green on our side. So I'm being patient here. I'm gonna keep my eye on the oncoming traffic and the pedestrian. When the pedestrian is crossing in this direction, when he's going away from you like this, I've gotta let him or her get all the way across the street there. And now they're up. I got a gap in traffic with confidence. Go for it. Looking for my lane closest to the middle there without clipping it, beautiful. Another great example, I love that one too because you got to see a pedestrian in action. So I had a lot of multitasking. All right, another major intersection up ahead. Let's see what we've gotten ourselves into here. We wanna make a left turn. Again, I'm already starting to slow down, getting ready for the red light up there. And right about here, 100 feet or so, put on my left signal, I'm gonna smog, signal mirror over the shoulder, glide into that left turn lane. And come to a nice smooth stop up here. Well, it turned green. So now first left, right, left, inch into the intersection. Now I do have a pedestrian here. So I've got traffic and pedestrian to keep my eyes on. So I'm waiting for a gap. Okay, it looks like she's safely halfway across coming towards me, so that's good. But still a lot of traffic towards me. Also keeping my focus on the light in case it turns yellow. Wasn't safe to go there. Light's gonna turn yellow shortly because I see the don't walk sign flashing but still no gap in traffic. I didn't like going there because the car was speeding up, so I just played it safe. Yellow light, gap in traffic, commit to my turn, nice and easy, perfect. Nice, safe left turn in heavy traffic. Good job, everybody.
Here we are at a red light, first in line, waiting to turn left. I'm stopped behind the limit line. While I'm waiting here, I'm checking traffic, checking the pedestrian situation. Doesn't look like there's any pedestrians on the corner. There's no left turn lane here. This is just a residential street to turn left onto a busy street. You can't really see it, but it just started flashing the do not walk sign. So that's giving me a hint that the light ahead of me is probably about to turn green fairly soon. I just see a pedestrian come up here on his scooter, but he's gonna wait there. Now the traffic across from me is turning left and the guy behind him looks like he's coming out. So I'm kind of watching, I can't really see around the car, so I'm just being patient. And this car put their signal on at the last second. And I make my turn, finish in the leftmost lane. And that was a difficult left turn. So once again, we're gonna make a left turn at the light up ahead a busy intersection but we'll do our best slowing down at 200 feet signal on at 100 feet doing my smog signal check my mirrors over my shoulder into the turn lane smoothly looks like I'm, I'm going to be first in line always checking for oncoming traffic but as importantly looking for pedestrians at the street corners and the third thing that I'm monitoring is the traffic lights so I need to know oncoming traffic pedestrians traffic lights those three things are kind of just cycling through your head now when this light turns green as it's about to i'm going to let all these people clear i'm not going to start they've got the right away there i look left right left again intersection is clear now i can inch out about you know a fourth way third of the way into the intersection just when my mirror goes past this curb right here now i'm looking for a gap i could have gone there perhaps but if i would have gone it might not have been safe because the traffic coming towards me might have had to slow down so I'll just be patient. Again, waiting for that gap in traffic, making sure no pedestrians. And I know I have that safe gap when I can make the turn and no one coming towards me needs to slow down. I cannot impede anybody's progress. That's kind of the magic rule there. So I think I've got a gap coming here, but it's hard to see with this guy across from me, but I do see the gap lights going yellow. Now I'll go with confidence. I want to clear the intersection, go to the middle lane closest to the middle of the road there perfect that was a great example of a left turn that just takes a little practice a little um, experience sometimes that can give you a little anxiety when the light turns yellow not knowing when to turn but again just be patient err on the side of caution and if you're not a hundred percent sure whether or not you should turn don't make the turn all right slowing down left signal checking my mirrors looking over my shoulder nothing to my blind spot easing to that center turn lane without touching any of the lane lines you don't want to do that. Anytime you go over a lane line on your test, it's a potential auto fail. So don't, don't go over those solid lines. Always avoid the solid lines. All right, we got some green lights up here. Nobody at the intersections, pedestrian wise. A lot of oncoming traffic though. Same thing, I haven't committed to the intersection yet. I'm still back here behind the crosswalk. Want to see what happens with the car in front of me and once they go then i can commit to the intersection and have my turn to go but again what if the light starts turning yellow or red i don't want to get stuck but they're going so now i can enter the intersection same thing i'll check the blind spot one more time here comes a gap lights yellow safe to go commit to it and now i'm confident accelerate into that lane closest to the middle and that is a safe left turn good job y'all so as you can see here, I can't even get into the left turn lane here. So I'm just gonna be patient and wait for the opening. Stop nice and smoothly so I can see the back tires of the car ahead of me. And it looks like traffic is starting to come towards us, which means, yeah, it looks like the light just turned green up ahead. So as traffic moves ahead, before I go into that left turn lane, I'm gonna smog. I already have my signal on checking my mirrors, but look up, look over my shoulder in case someone tries to pass me on the left here. Looks clear, ease into that left turn lane. And now I've got to wait. I might not even make this turn. It just depends how many gaps there are. And now that I'm in the intersection, I got to find my own safe gap. And I can't go there because if I would have gone there, it would have slowed that car down. Yellow light, now I got my gap and I go for it. And into the lane closest to the middle of the road. And that was a pretty challenging left turn. Had to make a lot of quick decisions there. Had to wait for my gap to come. Light turned yellow. Had to make sure it was safe to go. And when it was safe, I owned the turn and completed it as quickly as I could. 
I'm going to start slowing down about 200 feet or maybe half a block away. Signal on 100 feet, checking my mirrors, looking over my left shoulder into the turn lane, nice and smooth. Now I see a gap in traffic and you know what? I could have gone for that had I accelerated um, a little more aggressively, but I didn't want to risk it. So I'm just waiting, lights yellow. Now I see my gap. I make sure that car is stopping across from me and go for it. Great, that was, a, that was a great learning example. There was an example where I had a decision to make. I could have really accelerated aggressively and gone for that turn, but that probably wouldn't have been the safest thing. If you make any of the oncoming traffic slow down at all on your test, that's an auto fail. See the light's red. I'm already kind of starting to slow down at least 200 feet ahead of time. And when I get to about 100 feet, that's when I put on my signal, the first part of smog, right? Signal. I'm going to check my mirrors, I'm going to look over my left shoulder, nothing in my blind spot. I can ease into that left turn lane nice and smoothly. I've got a car in front of me, so I'm going to wait back here behind the crosswalk, not, get, not getting myself in the intersection, so that if he gets stuck there on a red light, I don't interfere with cross traffic. So I'm waiting back here, I'm going to see what he does. If he goes while the light's still green, see, so he's still there, I'm not even going to go, because by the time he clears, it's already red. If I would have gone for it, that would have definitely been running the red light. So I just have to be patient and wait for the next set of lights. And while you're here, you're not falling asleep or daydreaming or whatnot. You're keeping your eye on the situation. You're keeping your eye on the big three things we keep talking about. Oncoming traffic, traffic lights, pedestrians, right? Anything coming here, no pedestrians, that looks good. And even while we're sitting here, even for 30 seconds, something could change. I could have a kid come up on a bike or a skateboard here to my left. But light's green, I'm gonna look left, right, left, inching out in the intersection. No pedestrians, everything looks good. I'm just waiting for a gap in traffic. That guy kind of fell asleep at the wheel there. Not safe to go here, because if I went, it would definitely make that oncoming car slow down. They clear the intersection, light's yellow, and now I have to go for it with confidence. Clear that intersection aim into my lane perfect that's a great example of a pretty challenging left turn a lot of things happened there light turned yellow there wasn't a lot of gaps in traffic and i really had to make sure it was safe to go when i committed to my turn good good job everybody all right y'all waiting for the intersection to clear on this left turn here no pedestrians green light left right left inching out into the intersection Letting my mirror get past the curb there, about a quarter of the way, some say almost a third of the way to the intersection. You just kind of feel how far you can go where you're not impeding the traffic across from you who needs to turn. And I'm just waiting for a gap. And while I wait for the gap, I'm keeping my eye on three things. Oncoming traffic, the traffic light, and pedestrians. Lights going yellow, I'm making sure traffic's stopping. Once I'm 100% sure they're stopping, I go for it with confidence. Nice. It was a little bit of a challenge because I had to make the decision, is that car coming towards me, are they going to slow down and stop or are they going to speed up and go for that yellow light, try to clear the intersection. So again, you always have to yield to the oncoming traffic, even if they're going to run the red light, you need to yield to them. You got to you gotta always choose safe over sorry, right? One thing that you need to learn in your driving life, and it's also something that might come up on the DMV test, so you really do need to know how to do it, both for practicality and to pass your license test, and that is using center left turn lanes. So we're gonna try to find a center left turn lane that we can use. You can use them to either start a left turn or to end a left turn. So first I'll demonstrate how to use it to start a left turn. And a lot of times you'll find these center left turn lanes uh, used for entering driveways. However, sometimes they're used to uh, enter streets as well. So we'll see what we've got up here. I think there are a couple. I'll keep my eye peeled. We'll see one. And basically the main thing you want to do is just remember you're treating it almost like a turn lane. It's just a little different because it's painted with the two solid lines on the outside and the dotted lines on the inside. And also oncoming traffic can also use that lane. So you kind of see one there to my left there. Let me try to find an example where I can actually use it to turn into a driveway. And here's an opportunity right here. So I'm put on my left signal, check my mirrors, look over my shoulder, ease into it, make sure there's no oncoming traffic in my way. And I can use this now to make a left turn into that driveway there. And once it's clear, check for pedestrians. 
nice and easy. I'm gonna accelerate, but also gonna ease up because there's a little dip there. Nice, and that's how you can use a center left turn lane to begin a left turn. So sometimes we don't always have a left turn lane. Sometimes we turn right from this lane, or sometimes we have a center left turn lane that we can use. You'll even find this on your DMV test, so it's important to know. So I wanna make a left turn where that car is, check my mirrors, look over my shoulder, fade into this lane, and now I can use this as a turn lane. Looking for a gap in traffic, looks clear, left, right, left, turn to the left there, finish my turn, beautiful. And that's how you use a center left turn lane to uh, help you start a left turn. Another left turn. And left signal, left shoulder, into the center turn lane. Now I'm using the center turn lane to turn into a driveway here. And I did that on purpose because that is how on some of the DMVs you'll enter. You'll enter the DMV driveway from a center turn lane. Nice, good job, y'all. I'm gonna show you in the safest way possible what not to do, but this is what gets a lot of students on the DMV test. They do this when making a left turn and they get an auto fail. So let's say the examiner says, hey Ben, make a left turn at the intersection up ahead. And I'm like, oh, okay, let me do that. So I put on my left signal and I'm coming up here. I see the street I wanna turn into, slow down. But instead of fading into that center left turn lane, I make the left turn all the way from over here. And that is an auto fill. You do never, never wanna do that. Always use a center left turn lane if it's there to make your turn. So again, don't do what I just did. I'm gonna put a lot of red X's and bubbles and things on the screen. But I, I wanted to show you because that's actually a very common thing that happens on the DMV test. Because for some drivers, new drivers, when you're starting out, you, you might have never seen a uh, center left turn lane or used it. Uh, maybe you went to a driving school that didn't teach it or maybe you didn't go to driving school or maybe you just forgot. So, you know, examiner asked you to make a turn. You're not even aware that you can use that lane to make a turn and you auto fill. So here I'm gonna use pedestrian. I'm gonna let her cross there. I'm gonna use this center left turn lane to help me make this turn. I can kind of split it up into two pieces. I'll use it to kind of finish my left turn. So once traffic clears here on the left, I'm gonna go right into that center left turn lane. And that'll allow these other cars going in the direction I wanna go past me. And now that there's a gap, I just do a lane change to the right, signal mirror to the right, and there you go. That's how you can use a center left turn lane to finish a turn. Nice. All right, one more time for posterity's sake. I'll make a left turn here, and if it's busy, I will split this up into two parts. So first I stop here, need to inch out where I can really see traffic. Now there's a lot of traffic coming in both lanes, so I'll be patient. So first I'm concerned about traffic in this direction. Also keep an eye on the guy across the street there. So now I'm gonna take the first half of my turn. I'm just gonna go into that center left turn lane there. Nice and easy, nice and slow too, so people aren't freaked out. Then I'm gonna stop, and I'll put on my right turn signal I'm gonna let that car pass. I'll even let this car coming behind me pass so that I don't cut them off. I don't wanna enter traffic and make them slow down. But after this second car here, I'm gonna start accelerating and make a right lane change. Oh, my signal turned off, turn it back on, turn it off again, and there you go. So that's how you can use a center left turn lane to um, split it in half and make it easier for yourself. One thing I wanna point out in that center left turn lane, and this is a DMV test prep question, you cannot, um, you cannot drive in that lane for more than 200 feet. So if I go into this lane right now, which I won't do because there's no, no point to do it, but you can only be in it for 200 feet. So that's why when you go in there, most of the time I recommend you stop and stay put. And then when you see a gap coming, you kind of use it almost like a plane does a runway. You kind of use it to get up to speed and uh, enter traffic. And one last thing I want to point out about those center left turn lanes. When you use them, remember, traffic coming towards you can also use that lane. So keep an eye on them. If you see someone already using the lane before you, then don't go into it. Let them have it. So it's kind of first come, first serve. Again, always do what you need to do to avoid a potential traffic situation. All right, let's say I'm coming out of this little 
side street here and I need to make a left. Now, to be honest, I might actually, actually in real life just go right here because it'll be a much simpler turn, but there's gonna be occasions where maybe you don't have the choice or maybe on your DMV test, they ask you to make this turn. So you need to know to do it. So I got my left signal on here. I'm stopping first behind this crosswalk. This crosswalk is really blind, I can't see. So I stopped first before and I'm really inching out super slow, really looking left, right, left, making sure no pedestrians or bikes or anything are coming. Good, now I wanna make this left. I'm gonna use that center left turn lane ahead of me to finish my turn. So I'm waiting for a gap in traffic where I can go over there and I have it. So I go to the left here. And now I wait in the center left turn lane. And when it's safe, I'm gonna make a right lane change over into the lane of traffic. So not here, but after this car, I'm gonna start accelerating up, right shoulder, ease into traffic, just like a normal lane change. All right, y'all, we have officially turned ourselves around in circles, doing all these left turns. Thank you so much for watching today. For those of you out there with driving anxiety, I hope today helped a little bit. Gave you a lot of examples you can pull from in your own driving life. Just be patient, take your time. Trust me, you'll get there. It's just like anything else in life. You practice, practice, and practice, and it'll become second nature. Until then, just take it easy and set yourself up for success. Again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have a second, please like, subscribe. It really motivates us to keep making more videos. Please leave a comment. We'd love to hear what you say. We like to respond and have dialogues with you all. And if you learned one thing from today's video, it's hopefully the big three things for making a left turn. Don't forget to keep your eyes on the traffic, keep your eye on the pedestrians, keep your eyes on traffic lights. If you can remember that, that's half the battle. So until next time, from Ben and everyone at Drivers I Direct, thank you so much and please, please, please stay safe out there.